Hi, hello and welcome to Diyas Kitchen. Today I am going to share a rasam recipe. Especially for my North Indian friends. Let's start the preparation. I have taken one amla sized tamarind. I am going to soak it in the water for few minutes. Let's keep it aside. This is a normal water. And let's see the other ingredients. I have taken two dry chilies, one teaspoon mustard and ten garlics. 2 green chilies, 1 tablespoon cumin seeds and 1 tablespoon pepper powder, curry leaves, coriander leaves, asafoetida powder and then 1 ripe tomato. In a mortar, I am going to add the garlic and green chilies. I am not going to peel the skin of garlic because it will taste good. You can also use a mixture jar for this. And now I am adding cumin seeds and pepper seeds. Make a coarse powder. No need to add water. So you have to make this coarse powder. Keep it aside. Now crush the tamarind and make a juice out of it. And throw out the waste. In our traditional way of making rasam, we use our hands to crush the tomatoes. So in the same water, I am going to add the ripe tomato. Crush it with hands. In the tamarind tomato water, add some turmeric powder, half tablespoon, and asafoetida powder, and then rock salt. Usually, I use pink rock salt and mix it well. Let's keep this aside. In a kadai, add 2 tablespoon of oil, add the mustard and dry chilies, let it sputter, then add the curry leaves. This is a fresh curry leaves. I picked it from my garden and now I am adding the coarse powder, saute it well. When you saute it, you can feel the fresh aroma of rasam. On that time, add the tamarind tomato water. You can add more water and cover the lid. Keep the stove and simmer. After 5 to 6 minutes, open the lid and see it starts foaming. On that time, switch off the flame. You should not bring it to boil. Now add the coriander leaves and mix it well and serve it hot. Hope you like this video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and I will come up with another new video. Thank you so much for watching.